A supervolcano's eruption deposits more than 1,000 cubic kilometers of material, thousands of times more than a regular volcano. Some of the most dangerous supervolcanoes occur as calderas. A caldera is formed when a volcanic mountain has an eruption large enough to empty its magma chamber. With the magma chamber no longer able to support the volcano's weight, the mountain collapses in on itself, forming a depression in the ground above. Then, as magma and volcanic gases continue to rise into the chamber, they no longer have a volcano through which to erupt, so pressure builds until the crust can no longer contain it. At this point, a very violent explosion occurs. One of the largest active supervolcano calderas is right beneath Yellowstone National Park. This supervolcano receives magma from the Yellowstone hotspot. A hotspot is a volcanic region fed by plumes of hot, upwelling mantle. As the Earth's crust shifts over top of the mantle due to the forces of plate tectonics, the hotspot's position shifts relative to the Earth's surface. The progress of the Yellowstone hotspot can be tracked along the Snake River Plain. At the now southernmost section of the Snake River Plain, a supervolcano eruption occurred 11.8 million years ago, when the hotspot was beneath modern-day Idaho. When the supervolcano overtop erupted, so much material was released that the ground collapsed downward, forming a caldera spanning 60 miles. All life within 100 miles of the eruption was instantly incinerated, yet far more deaths resulted from the ash carried many hundreds of miles by the wind. 1,000 miles downwind, at Ashfall Fossil Beds, two meters of ash were deposited. There, the animals died a slow death from ash inhalation, days to weeks after the eruption. The ash, composed of tiny shards of high silica volcanic glass, was breathed into the animals' lungs, causing tiny lacerations. All that remains today are their bones, preserved in superb condition in the fine sediment. Apart from the ash, the release of sulfur dioxide gas blocked the sun's energy from reaching the Earth, causing a volcanic winter spanning multiple continents that devastated plant life and caused major food shortages. The fossil and geological records bear testament to the havoc a supervolcano can cause. Today, the Yellowstone hotspot sits directly beneath Yellowstone National Park. Previously, this hotspot has caused an eruption once every approximately 600,000 years. It's been 640,000 years since the last eruption, so there's no saying when it could blow. Geologists are watching the caldera closely for signs of activity, and are brainstorming methods to mitigate the inevitable calamity. However, there are currently no safe and effective solutions known. Clearly, more research is needed.